This is a video just to kind of give you an introduction, quick introduction to uh, ProPresenter 7 and how we are using ProPresenter 7 in our current setup. So as you can see, it uh, has a very different look than ProPresenter 6. Uh, the biggest difference that you see is obviously the uh, you know monitor or the, the screen output is over here on the uh, right hand side. Uh, and then again in the middle you have all your documents and slides and then over here you have your playlist. Um, your library which uh, used to be you know you used to have the library here and then the playlist below the library is still here but what you do is you hit this little down arrow here and you see right here library and if I go in here here's all the documents song files and uh, slides and everything that we've got set up uh, on this particular ProPresenter computer. So that's the library. Uh, you do have a plus here where you can add a new library, new presentation, add a playlist, etc. Uh, but uh, that's where this information is, is at now. Um, up here on the top toolbar, the show button. Uh, this is a button that if you are in editor mode, you would hit show and hey, look at that. That started automatically, good. Um, so the show button uh, is what in any kind of uh, you know editing mode that you're in if you're in reflow you go back to show if you're in the stage editor you go back to show and it gets you back always to your presentation that you're at um, so um, timers messages prop stage all that uh, you know typically uh, you know is all kind of preset stuff that's all done and uh, uh, so there's where that is. Now, you may ask, hey, we used to have like a clear all and clear background and clear slide and clear audio and all that kind of stuff. Where is all that? Well, if you follow the mouse, it's all right here now. So you have a clear all button right here. You have a clear uh, uh, text slide. Uh, you got a clear media, which is the background. And you got a clear announcements. Uh, you got to you know clear your your audio if you've got audio playing um, you got even a clear camera if you have a camera input so the all those buttons for the clear all uh, the clear all clears everything and then these are the individuals so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this for you so because you may be wondering what in the world is this clear announcement so, okay so as we get started here I'm gonna start uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to start at the beginning of the service. So this is people walking in, and as you can see right here in this uh, now new multi-view uh, screen, we can see what's going out to the main screens. We can see what's going on the stage display. We can see what's being sent out to the broadcast, and which is broadcast as the live stream. Uh, and then we've got these various clocks here, and I'll explain these clocks to you here shortly. So as you can see, this is all playing. If you look right here, there's a little button right here, and it says, I am putting that on the presentation layer. Then there's an announcements layer. That is what is assigned to this clear right here. This is the announcements. So you may go, well, how are we using that? Well, this is how we are using it. As you can see, this is the welcome. This is what's going out to the front of house screens. This right here is what's going, well, let me start that, there we go. This right here is what's now going out to broadcast. So this is literally a separate slide uh, announcement loop that's going out to the live stream. Uh, so as you can see, it's advancing as this sits here and advances and rotates. You may ask, well, why is that? Why aren't we sending the same info? Well, believe it or not, there's some info that needs to go to the live stream audience that doesn't need to go to the people here in the worship center in the house. Like for instance, Click the share button. Um, thanks for worshiping with us online with a little camera right here. We'll get started soon. So this is all just kind of pre-slides that is set up online Sunday school. This is all stuff that's really specifically for the uh, live stream audience. So good. The, you know the good thing is is ProPresenter 7 allows us to do that. Now if I hit this clear announcements, you'll notice that this slide right here for the broadcast is going to clear out. And as you can see, it's going to be whatever is playing here. If I clear the media, there's the media, and then it clears it out. That one was text, uh, is what that is. So as you can see, uh, if I go ahead and start them both back up again, 
And if I hit clear all, it clears them all out. So there's your clear all buttons that used to be over here. All right, so I'm gonna get this going again. And then all of a sudden our countdown gets started and boom, as you can see, broadcast is going to stage display, main screens and broadcast. Um, and then when it's done, you know, it clears it out. And then as you can see, the stage display changes. Here's what's nice and new is as you can see, this is now text that we can add to the stage display. We weren't able to do that before. And uh, so they can, uh, you know, know what is currently on the screen behind them and what's coming up next. Songs. Let's get into some information related to the songs. So as I do that, it triggers and, and programs the stage display to be now in this format right here. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing on the broadcast. Uh, there's no words here until I go here. So as you can see, just like we did, you know, we've got the white. Uh, here in the stage display. This is what's coming up next. Here's what's going out to the main screen and here right here is what's going out to the broadcast, the live stream, the lower thirds. So what is nice about ProPresenter 7 related to lower thirds is let's say I go in here and I do an edit and I just put in a bunch of periods and then I launch this slide. Before I launch it, you'll notice it's still the same, still the same, still the same. But I launch it, boom, it is now updated on the live stream. So that's what's nice. We're no longer having to update two separate computers for the lyrics. This also works that if I go into the arrangement right here, and as you can see, the arrangement tool is the same, where if I need to add in instrumentals, I can add instrumentals in, or I could take them out. So the arrangement tool is right there, a uh, little bit different look, a little bit, little bit different look up here, but that's really the only button that uh, any of us really are gonna be even using is that arrangement tool, turning it on and turning it off. So uh, if I add, uh, let's say verse one here, as you can see, it's now been added. And when I go here to verse one, as you see, it's already updated down here. So I'm gonna go back. I'm going to do a quick edit and I'm going to take out all these periods. Boom, 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 boom. Whoop. He's coming. G. There we go. And I click it and boom, it's updated there. It's updated there. I'm going to take that additional verse that I took out. And as you can see, so it's all automatic now, all done on one computer for lyrics. Uh, sermon notes are done a little bit differently. Um, so Reflow editor, if you need to go into the reflow editor, it's it looks the same, does the same as in uh, ProPresenter 6. Uh, again, if I want to get back to the show, I can get back to the show by clicking on that. Uh, if I need to edit, uh, go in and actually go into the editor. Uh, there it is. I do want to point to you, the copyright information is now in the editor. So, let me go back to the show. Remember, it used to be one of these uh, buttons here. Actually, it was over here. There was a little I for info, and you can do the copyright. Uh, but now, what has they have done it where they put it in the editor. So, if I click on the song and I go to the editor, you will see right over here is where all the copyright information is listed. The biggest thing is making sure that this is turned on uh, so that we see it on the last slide. Um, there is another change in the editor. Uh, prior, the editor, if I were to hit edit, it would show the slides in uh, this particular order on the left-hand vertical bar. It does not do that anymore. So I'm going to show you an example. I am going to um, I'm going to take this instrumental and I'm going to put it in this master group. This is the master arrangement right here. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put last slide instrumental background to, to make, make a point here. It used to be that if we went into the editor, it would show the slides in the order of the arrangement. It no longer does that. If I go into the editor, you will see, look at there, last slide instrumental background. So the editor goes in the, uh, the master arrangement format and there's all of the slides right there. So again, I can click on a slide and I can edit whatever I need to edit. And then if I need to hit go back, there we go. So let me put this back. We put the instrumental at the end. 
we put the last slide right there and background right there so now if I go back into the editor you'll see see background and then all the way down here last slide instrumental so that's a change in the editor that it is in the format of this master arrangement uh, for this particular document uh, let's see let's go to kids message real quick I'm going to show you something related to these clocks so as you can see this clock right here says video remaining uh, if I just show you like the uh, countdown if I hit the countdown you see that this clock changed and it shows you how much time is left in the actual video itself um, and then if I hit the background these typically are like 30 second backgrounds you can see that it's showing you know the loop here for for this let's go to uh, the kids message again so you may go okay we got a countdown one and we got a sermon countdown uh, y'all know what the sermon countdown is but you may go well what is this countdown one well that's the thing that's nice about ProPresenter 7 we can have a plethora of countdowns um, and timers and stuff and so what I have done here is I have programmed a five minute countdown for the children's message as you can see right there they see that on the stage display and you have that information right there in front of you as well. If I click on that slide, as you can see, it stops there and it stops there. Let's go to the sermon notes and let's talk about that and clocks and how this all looks. So what's nice about uh, what's new is I'm gonna click on that slide and as you can see, the sermon countdown resets to 25. It hasn't reset there. Uh, that's something I've got to try and figure out why that's not resetting. Um, but uh, there it is. Uh, there's the. This is the sermon uh, stage display. You see the current slide is a black, and the next slide is going to be Anthony's title. And then when I hit that, as you can see, the countdown starts, and the countdown starts up here. So that's what these clocks are for, and it's to give you some information. Um, so as you go through his slides, um, you may ask, well, hey. We do lower thirds for the sermon notes. Where are that? That is being done on a second computer that actually the video switcher is operating. Uh, it is not going to be the um, uh, the lyrics operator, the main pro presenter operator. The video uh, switcher is going to be controlling that. If I hit that last slide, as you can see, I've got a little program cue right here that stops the clock and stops the clock. Uh, and then if I actually go to that right there, um, it takes the clock off so uh, but that's the operation of it when we come down here to the end uh, when uh, you know Pastor Brian who recently is the one been doing it uh, during this time um, he can see what's coming up and uh, you know welcome back uh, for for next week when we come back to live um, and then he says the prayer line again the prayer line information is being done by the switcher from the second uh, pro presenter computer that we have and then when he says God bless dismiss what what will happen is you will hit this one and you will hit this one as again this is what's going out to the broadcast so again this is what's going to stay for uh, in the house it's just going to stay on this slide right here but the live stream for a little bit until it cuts off is going to have a rotation of these slides and the reason for is again it's an announcement here about us coming back live um, for the two services and the time change uh, the online Sunday school bridge weekend obviously we're looking for instrumentalists and then the prayer uh, information so that rotates for a little bit while the live stream is still running um, and that's information specifically for them I will tell you that this as well uh, just so that everybody knows this is also going out to the lobby so it's both the live stream and the lobby um, I hope that uh, kind of gives you at least a very basic introduction uh, to, uh, to ProPresenter 7. Um, it's fun to operate. It's stable. We've had absolutely no issues with it, no lockups, no shutdowns, no, uh, no, no having to reboot. It's running nice and smooth, and uh, it's, it's very exciting to be using this. All right, guys, looking forward to seeing you operate this soon. Talk to you later.